Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we're playing Castlevania, The Adventure, Rebirth. In the last episode, we did to level 5. And now, here we go. One life, let's see if we can do it. Oh, no, can't do it. Robot fell on me, and I died. Alright, let's see if we can do this again. Let's do this. Damn clock thing. You always gotta have a clock, don't they? Any Castlevania game after 3. Always a freaking clock. What the hell? And these Medusa heads are getting on my nerves. They are getting on my nerves. And so yes, we have ourselves a clock tower and all that jazz. I do enjoy the music of this level though. Although you're going to hear it quite a bit due to the fact that I'm going to die. Oh, oh I can't beat that damn Medusa head. Oh, what the hell, that was a reckless jump. Yep. Yeah, you got the spinny things right there, and these projectiles are like one of the best things in this game. It's pretty sweet. Now over here you want to try to get to the left as far as possible and get this thing up here and cross. Damn, see, you now it breaks all those pillars, so you can get down here much easier. And, oh, try not to get hit by the... Uh, by the Joe Montana skeletons over here. I've been throwing stuff at you. See, now this red thing over here, if you touch it, you get hit. And of course, I got hit by a Medusa head. Alright, let's see if there's any meat down here. Maybe I can beat the sub boss here with some meat. I don't think there's any meat. I think I'm gonna die. Oh, damn it! Medusa head? I can't even get into the mini boss. Or the second boss, or sub boss, or whatever. You bastards. Medusa head things. Yeah, I, I, I got pretty good at this level because I've had to do it over and over and over again. I mean, I understand that it's like the last level, last, last playable level in the game. But yeah, chase only from the Medusa heads. Yeah, they're getting annoying. But they made it like they just ramped the difficulty up big time, big time. Yeah, I, I want to see something down here to see it. No, you can't break that wall to get to the other room. Maybe it's the other way around. Oh, that was really close. These Medusa heads. And then you can make that robot fall like that. That's pretty nice. And then no more robot. And now you're climbing up this thing. Jump, jump, jump. And now, oh, oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, oh, damn it. Well, I'd rather waste time than get hit, so that's alright. As long as I don't get hit, we're cool. Now back over here, get this cross thing. Alright, now let's go down, kill the skeleton. Dodge this. Whoa, that was close. That was really close. That was super duper close. So yeah, we'll just wait for that thing to go around like that, and then whoop, you got time. And screw it, I'm not gonna get anything. Let's go right to the mini boss. Full health. Of course the clock won't help, and look at that! It's Monk Frankenstein! And you just have to duck over those things. Or under those things, and then jump over this. And then just whip the crap out of him. So you gotta dodge those, and then yeah, he brings on two of them. Keep whipping at him. That's that's my strategy. Beat him before he beats you. Friggin' Frankenstein monk man. And luckily we made it to the second checkpoint. And that friggin' robot's following me. Now there's two little paths to go this way. I go with the left. It's much easier. Cause that blood bone can come back. And just gotta whip this robot thing. Go up these freaking stairs. What a pain in the butt this level is. And look, we got cross connecting stairs. Look, look, and you can't even go up them. What the hell? You can't even turn around and do that. So, yeah, you have to go down here to go back up there. What an, what an annoyance. But, you know, it, again, it is the last level, so I guess you're making it as hard as possible. Now, up here, on the second one, you're going to want to jump right instead of going to the very top. Because you can see there's spikes right there. No, 
got more Dan Marino friggin' um, skeletons here. And if, yeah, I used the time thing, because you gotta hit that and then climb up. So that, the clock was actually useful right there. Usually not so useful in these games. Especially against the boss. The old clock thing five. Oh, I thought there was some sort of meat there. I was wrong. So yes. Just gotta watch out for these uh Steve Young uh skeletons here. Go up here. Yeah, try to stay on the top if you can. Up here. Oh man. Oh god. I hate these skeletons fake axe knights and you can't even jump back up there. So now I gotta go to the bottom way. This is gonna suck. Just beat this friggin' eyeball and let's get to the checkpoint. I think. Oh, no, you can't get up there. You can't get up there. Alright, now this elevator is gonna start moving up and as you can see there's spikes on the bottom of the platform so just watch out. You wanna get... Well, you don't wanna get anything, I guess. And look at that, we got giant skull guys from Castlevania since in the night. Mm, just beat these guys, good. Yep, yeah, just be careful now, you got Medusa heads. Of course. Wouldn't be Castlevania without Medusa heads. And if you had a key, there's a shortcut over there with a bunch of extra lives, but I don't. And I thought there was some sort of beef around here, I guess I was wrong. Some sort of meat. One of these things, I guess not. I'm gonna check anyway. No, no, I'm not. I guess not. And now here's another checkpoint. This is probably where you're gonna see a lot of me coming back to because of the damn. Yep. Oh, come on. At least I was right at the checkpoint, so. Best bet is to get the axe. Get the axe, and then, um. Throw it at these. These, uh. These friggin' uh, boomer size and skeleton things. Friggin'. Yeah, these quarterbacks, man. Well, I guess boomer size and it's not really that good of a quarterback, so. No, it doesn't count. So, yeah, it wouldn't be a Castlevania game without swinging pendulums. Jumping up, grabbing this stuff. I gotta get me a, a chain whip one of these days, man. There we go. Now you got these friggin' things following you. They're such a pain in the butt. Yeah, you gotta time your jumps pretty carefully on that one. Oh, 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 well, yes. Alright. Alright, now just wait it out if you got it. You got five minutes, so. Plenty of time to get to the boss. Almost there, actually. I'm pretty surprised that I didn't die as much. Now you got these freaking gorilla guys. And axes, and look at that. This is kind of, I like that. That's kind of cool, the uh, gear thing there, but. Yeah, four times that's it. Yep, and look at that. Freaking ectoplasm lands on me. What the hell? Oh my god. Hit those Johnny Unitas freaking skeletons there, man. And start climbing. Yep, wait for the eyeball. Don't ever go up until you get the eyeball. Kill the eyeball. See, now you can't go down those stairs, because that's where you came from. If you had the bonus thing. So let's try this again. Get the friggin' whip. Okay. Yeah, see, you gotta... Well, this thing's going down. You gotta go up. Like that. There you go. You can just whip the crap out of you. Whip it. Whip it good. Shape it up. And then I forget what the rest of the song is actually. Yeah, I like when that guy falls to his doom, but I kinda want that cross rank. Mmm boy. Yeah, just throw that at him. Yep, okay. Dodge that. Oh, I can't dodge it. I can't dodge it. Just kill him. Just kill him and jump, yes. Alright. More enemies than you can shake a stick at here. Now this next part is the uh Big time. 
yeah, just throw the axe. Well, the axe is pretty useful right there. And you think, hey, you can't go through there, but yeah, you can walk through that wall. I don't know why they put these stairs there. Alright, cross around action. Hmm. But you know what? I'm going to stop here. Uh, and we'll continue on in the next episode. This has been Kenshin 1913. <clears throat> and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.